Welcome into Duval Daily presented by GenJag.com. I'm Jordan DeLuga. Thanks so much for tuning in here on Thursday, March 28th. Jaguar is getting a little bit active in free agency today. Interesting signing, one-year deal for Josiah DeGuerra, originally reported by Jordan Schultz, confirmed by the Jaguars. We're going to dive into it today, what it means for the Jags, what he brings to the football team. But if you enjoy the content here, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. You can also check out ginjag.com slash shop, pick up some new Duval gear, really helps support the channel. So looking at Josiah DeGuerra here, I don't really know what position to call him because he takes reps all over the field, all over the offense and on special teams. Uh, a one-year deal for him, probably an extremely low value overall, negligible cap hit, I'd guess. He's a 27-year-old, former third-round pick by the Packers who just turned 27. Certainly his time in Green Bay uh, marred a little bit early on by an ACL injury, but he was drafted to be a, a role player, a player that didn't really play tight end, which is what he was called coming out of Cincinnati, uh, a guy that Maybe if he was drafted later on, folks would have liked what he brought to the table a little bit more, but he was never like this starting number one tight end that you would expect out of a player drafted on day two of the draft. But he is an interesting player. Reps split almost evenly among uh, inline tight end, slot receiver, and fullback. So he moves around the formation a ton, which is why I was saying I didn't really want to just call him a tight end. He blocks a lot. He's a pretty good athlete. Over the last three seasons, he's he's tallied 46 catches overall. So again, not super involved in the passing game, but also someone who can be involved if need be. Again, I would not call him a true tight end or a true fullback or a slot receiver. He just does all that stuff. If the Jaguars want to have him in more of a fullback role, if they want to have more of a fullback role in their offense than they've had over the last several years, he could certainly help out the running game, in my opinion. He's also a good special teamer. Picked up several tackles last year on coverage teams. So that's something the Jaguars have talked about. They've harped on. They want to have good special teamers. If you're a backup on this football team, they want you to be able to compete on special teams. Uh, and he is a backup. Make no mistake about it. Obviously not coming in to compete with Evan Ingram or anything like that. Um, but after that, it is interesting. Like Evan Ingram is your starter. But a lot of what Josiah DeGuerra did for the Packers and projects to do for the Jaguars it's kind of what I thought Britton Strange would do for the Jaguars. Strange did not play a lot last year after being a second-round pick. Does this have anything to do with their confidence in Britton Strange? Honestly, I have no clue. I would say probably not, but I don't know. We, we just won't really know until we see what kind of happens, how things are going during training camp and the preseason. Uh, but... You still also have Luke Fortner as well for the 2024 season, who is more of a balanced blocking tight end type. But Josiah Aguera, he certainly adds competition to the team with this move, and the Jaguars have preached competition in pretty much every room this offseason so far, right? They've added to pretty much every group that they have. Uh, maybe he adds some versatility to the tight end slash fullback position, which the Jaguars brass, they harp on versatility every time they talk more than they even talk about special teams, right? So this is the type of guy that they see some value in bringing in, kicking the tires on, seeing if they can get um, some reps from him. We'll see how it plays out. My guess is he's not a lock to make the roster. Um, the way a lot of the other big free agent signings the Jaguars have made this offseason are, but you never know. Uh, he could make it. Would the Jaguars keep four tight ends? I don't know. He certainly can help you in the running game as a move space blocker, as a fullback as well. He's a good athlete with experience, so it'll be interesting. See what he brings into Duval this spring and summer. See what he does when it comes to you know OTAs, training camp, all that stuff, preseason. We'll see what Josiah Aguero does here in Duval. But really appreciate y'all tuning in. If you enjoy the content, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Y'all have a good one.